Yo, what up, Fight Fans? So, it seems as if on the surface, we have some pretty good news for the fans because it looks as if now, after several years of not working together, uh, Top Rank and Golden Boy, both well, both Oscar and uh, Bob Arum, have both confirmed that they are meeting, I believe, in the next couple of weeks or early next week to start discussing, discussing <laughs> um, co-promotion between Top Rank and Golden Boy. Now, this is a huge huge step in the direction, like I said, many fans have been wanting to see happen. You know, we've been watching nothing but, you know, top rank versus top rank in-house fights and Golden Boy in-house fights for the most part. And, you know, I think we've been missing out on really good matchups that could be made. From an interview that Bob Arum uh, made while they were, uh, at, at, you know, promoting the, the Pacquiao Algeria fight that takes place in November, and I'll be talking about that, you know, the next week future video, you know, it was brought up as to, um, I guess, a, a quote Oscar De La Hoya stated about uh, him being in Philadelphia and wanting to meet with Bob Arum, and one of the main fights on the table that he wanted to put out was a, a fight at 140 pounds, I believe, between Manny Pacquiao and Danny Garcia, which really raised a lot of eyebrows because even though a lot of us, even, even the hardcore fans, you know, we're some of us are still like hanging on a thread to see if this Mayweather Pacquiao fight is ever made. I think a lot of us are at a point now too where we're like, look, man, if this shit doesn't happen this year, don't even bother giving it to us. You know, and, and kind of on that boat. But Manny Pacquiao versus Danny Garcia is a fight I would literally take a night off a of DJ and watch because I think that's a really good fight, man. You know, Danny Garcia's had. Um, you know, he didn't look that good against Herrera. He gets this knockout over Salco, who he should have anyway. But you know, this is a, that that's an interesting fight that I think people would really buy into. But this is all obviously, you know, talk <laughs> right now. But you know, both Aram and uh, Oscar need to meet, figure out not only matchups but figure out the network situation. Because what I'm reading is this next fight with Canelo Alvarez, who's rumored to fight uh, Joshua Claudi. There's rumors that this fight might be on HBO. And that'll be something kind of crazy because Canelo hasn't fought on HBO since the whole Golden Boy going over the Showtime uh, deal. Because I also heard as well that the, this whole Cotto Canelo situation, which I'm pretty sure Aram and, and Oscar are going to discuss probably over Pacquiao and, uh, and Garcia first. Um, there was talk that, that you know HBO wants to pick up that fight. And the thing is, HBO has more money than Showtime. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though, you know, people were saying, oh, but Showtime puts the better cards, whatever. I think they're 50-50 for the most part, but HBO is and will always be, like, the number one network. Based on the money that they, that, you know, the budget, and, and also just the rating, because HBO in general just has more subscribers. Based on my recollection, their pay-per-view business in, in a long stretch has been greater as well. So... You know, I, I think Oscar at the same time too is trying to like step his, his, you know, that first foot back into HBO because even though, like, I, I mean, I think they've been having a good run with Showtime, but I and, I and I had this conversation with somebody else. Showtime still is the second tier to HBO. I mean, it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? This is beyond boxing. Um, when Showtime acquired Floyd Mayweather, I, I think that the idea was that people were going to like, subscribe to Showtime and all this, but reality is, is the only time you see Floyd on Showtime is for the All Access episode or the epilogue of a fight. Like, you never see him fight on Showtime. So I don't know necessarily how how the ratings for an All Access would, would like, uh, trump anything that HBO is doing. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I think it's a no-brainer at this point if it's a situation where Oscar's trying to, in, in, in his own way, make amends with HBO and to start doing business with them again, it does make things interesting with with, uh, with Showtime because we also heard from Steven Espinosa that he wasn't too keen on like Oscar De La Hoya uh, bailing out of the the the, uh, the double header between uh, Garcia, well, was, I guess it was a triple header, uh, with the Garcia and, uh, and Lamont Peterson. So there's obviously a rift there, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's being talked a lot about in the press, but... You know, he, you know, Steven Espinosa, as of late, man, has been saying some slick shit on his Twitter feed and, and 
so forth. And, you know, you threw a little shout out to Oscar De La Hoya. So we could be seeing like another <laughs> feud beginning and, and one relationship being amended at the same time. It's kind, of, it's kind of funny. But as it stands right now, both Bob Arum and Oscar De La Hoya are legitimately meeting. They're going to be talking about future fights. I have no doubt one of the major fights, if not the fight they're going to talk about is Cotto Canelo and how they're going to promote that fucking fight because I I, I think beyond a Mayweather-Pacquiao fight, I don't, I, there's no other fight in boxing I'd better watch. And I've talked to several people and I think everybody's on the same boat. The only other fight besides maybe Mayweather-Pacquiao uh, and the Cotto Canelo fight is you know, Triple G and, and, and uh, Andre Ward, but that's not a realistic fight right now. So, so many fights that you can make that I think you know the boxing fans right now are probably not thinking of but as you know this relationship hopefully gets mended we're going to start to see hopefully the matchups we've been wanting to see and, and even like future fights that could be coming up from the younger stars it's only going to benefit us I mean, who, I mean for all we know man 2015 could be like the craziest year in, in years if this relationship gets mended so that that's pretty much it as far as um, that news is concerned because I've been wanting to make a video of it, but like it, it was just ironic today that I, I saw uh, them, I guess in a sense, announcing that both Top Ring and Golden Boy or Oscar and Aaron are going to meet in the talk, hash things out, and try and figure out the business. So we'll see how those meetings come about. I mean, for all we know, it could blow up in the meeting room and then back to square one but I kind of have a feeling that they're really going to make an attempt to this and like I said it, it, it's only going to be uh, good for the fans so as I always say subscribe hit the links and obviously I'll be back soon with you know, Pacquiao and Jerry coming up Bernard Hopkins and Kovalev officially uh, set for November <sighs> I mean what, what more can Hopkins do man so as I always say subscribe hit the links and I'll be